This is the uh, free walk dynamic test orthosis. It can be sent out to clinic to test if it is suitable for the patient. Uh, it's a stance control, so it will lock in stance and unlock for swing. First of all, you will measure the malleolite height to floor and knee joint centre to floor. And then you will adjust the test orthosis on the cross head screws and the side screws so that they link with the uh, mechanical knee joint and ankle joint centres. In this instance, we will always do it with footwear on and clothing on for hygiene reasons. So we simply lift the foot into place. And initially we'll keep it locked in whilst we adjust the bottom two straps. These are relatively simple return straps. We would then adjust the medialateral positioning with the screw underneath to widen or narrow the bars. Next, we will unlock the hinge with the cable and then apply the upper leg. And then you can adjust the bars once the straps are tightened. The upper bar should be 40 millimetres below the crotch and the lower thigh bar should be 80 millimetres at least above the knee joint centre. Once you're happy with the tension on the straps, they can be locked in on the medial side mechanisms. Finally, we will secure the foot strap with two Velcro straps. and then we attach the walk-in base. Once the patient is standing safely, we need to um, add the tension to the unlocking cable. This is done simply with the patient standing uh, by loosening the bottom screw and placing some tension on the joint. We don't want to unlock the joint, but just enough tension to give a bit of bounce and then tightening the screw back in. So at terminal stance, with hip and knee extension and ankle dorsiflexion, the cable would unlock, releasing the knee joint. If the free walk is appropriate for the patient, you will then need to measure them with either a cast or a draft. Uh, ideally, we would ask for the draft to be done uh, against the wall weight bearing, if possible. If you are going to do it lay in, make sure the leg is not too abducted. Um, so initially, you will need um, tracing paper against the wall. The patient heel back against the wall. Okay. Uh, if there's any medialateral correction, um, ideally try and position them up for the draft. Just make sure that the, the pen is parallel. We'll then take circumference and medialateral and anterior posterior dimensions at integral levels of the limb. This is all in the uh, free walk measurement manual. Contact your academy orthotist or it's all on ottobock.co.uk. You'll just need your tape measure. T1 will be 40 millimetres below the groin. This one should be taken at a slanted level. All the other measurements should be taken at a horizontal level. T2 should be taken 80 millimetres above the knee joint centre. T3 should be taken 80 millimetres below the knee joint centre. And T1 should be taken 100 millimetres above the malleoli. So you'll then need to take a sagittal plane draft, ideally um, leg against the wall, ensuring the knee isn't locked out or flexed. There are quite specific prescription guidelines for the free walk with the full measurements, including the, the tibial angles, which are available on the measurement chart. 
uh, go to otterbock.co.uk or contact your orthotic academy clinician.